Following dozens of arrests during the 2020 Black Lives Matter protest, Omaha allowed certain misdemeanor arrests to be erased. This is the Omaha Police Department. This is an unlawful assembly. But from day one, officials explained the newly created restorative justice program is based on the wrongdoer and police officers being brought together to hash things out. The first portion of the class will will just go through humanizing each other. We will create an element and a, and a, and a kind of a circle of trust where we address everyone uh, by their names and not their titles. And when we introduce that, we will try to humanize the community. Fast forward nine months, and the city is making the pilot program permanent. The report I got is it's been very, very positive for both the police and for those participants in the program. So I think it's very worthwhile that we offer that option, and I want to keep it going. While the program covers a variety of misdemeanors, people arrested for assault or drunk driving are not eligible. Is there any concern that people and members of the public will feel they can get away with something they weren't able to get away with before? I don't think that's going to be a concern because diversion programs are not new. They've existed for decades. The county attorney's office has diversion programs. The city prosecutor's office has traffic diversion, criminal diversion, mental health diversion. And I've never heard any type of feedback that people think that they're getting away with a crime by doing this diversion program. There is an accountability component to it. The city now tells us that a couple dozen people have finished the classroom portion of the program and are in the process of finalizing the other requirements, 12 hours of community service and six months probation. In Omaha, Joe Jordan, News Channel, Nebraska.